Hello, my YouTube friend. Today, I have a massive collection of horror and sci-fi toys to show you. So, I, I would say about three or four weeks ago now, a neighbor of mine, a guy I've known for about eight years, really, really nice guy, he contacted me and he said that his grandfather was selling his house. He had a whole collection of stuff at his grandfather's house. And his grandfather is selling the house, so his grandfather needed him to move the stuff. So he had moved all the stuff out of his grandfather's house to his Brooklyn apartment, and he just didn't have the room for it. So he contacted me. He's like, his family asked him, when's he going to do it? And he was like, I know a guy. <laughs> so I've, I've mentioned this neighbor before because he sells me his comic books that he gets. He gets subscriptions to comic books. So he, like once or twice a year, he sells me all the comics that build up that he's read from his subscriptions. So I love buying the comics from him because he gets a lot of really cool comic books, like, like Saga and that kind of stuff. So I get to add that to my collection. And he's happy to get a good chunk of his subscription money back. So it's like a win-win situation for both of us. So he said he just had a bunch of like aliens, Godzilla, all kinds of horror and sci-fi toys. And he wanted to know if I wanted to buy them. And I said, of course, just because uh, a lot of this is going to go into my store. But there's a lot of it I also want to keep from my own collection. And it's just a lot of fun stuff. So in this video, I'm going to show you this bin full of horror stuff. This giant box of stuff. This giant bin of stuff. This giant box of stuff and this giant box of stuff. Okay, so before I dig in, I just want to say I believe I paid fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars for the entire collection, but the collection also included three long box of comic books, and those alone I think I paid two or three hundred. So the actual toys I'm gonna to show you today, I believe I paid around twelve hundred dollars for it. Okay, let's just get to it and let's dig into this collection. All right, let's dig into this box. This is what this box looks like inside. We got a Mars Attack Martian. He is really cool. I love Mars Attacks. That's the Mars Attacks Funko Pops. Those are ones I really, really, really want. Probably top of my want list. But very pricey. Next, we got this really cool Aliens lead figure set. This is what it looks like inside. So you would have put them together and painted them back in the day. I really like lead figures. I used to, when I was young, I used to get them, you know, Dungeons and Dragons ones and whatnot. So that's a cool set. I'm probably, all the alien, even though I love aliens, I'm probably selling all the alien stuff. I'm probably going to keep the Godzilla stuff in this collection. I might keep the Martian though. I love the Martian. Okay, we got a spawn figure. I don't know the character's name. He's got all those like little weapons and accessories and stuff. And, oops, I think that goes to a Godzilla figure, maybe. Okay, we have another one of the lead figure set for Army of Darkness. That's really cool. So that's what they look like. Oops, dropping one. I think the lead figure sets were a bit pricey. I think I paid between 10 and 20 and I think they sell for like maybe between 30 and 50 I have to double check the pricing, but those are kind of collectible. I usually lose spawn figures like this. I don't pay a lot because they don't sell for a lot. But I'm usually going to pay 2 or $3 for figures like that and that. And sell them for probably between 6 and 10 each. Uh, these were super cool. These were worth a lot more than I thought they would be. The Micro Machine Alien sets. These were... I think I paid between 10 and 15 a set. And they go for like 25 to 35 I am keeping the Micro Machine sets though, because I love Micro Machines. And I do collect all the Micro Machine sets I can get. Especially the license sets for really cool sci-fi toys. And then we have another Micro Machines alien set. This is really cool. And then a third set. Also very cool. I th think I paid around 45 for the three sets. Those were the things I thought were the coolest in the collection. We got these Action Masters alien guy. I believe these go for about 10 bucks. They're cool though, they're from the 90s. I've had them a few times in the past. Okay, we have the three Nightmare Before Christmas figures. Uh, was it Lock, Shock, and Barrel? I think, I forget their names. I'm really bad with names. And people like to correct me all the time, which is fine. I just think it's funny because they think somehow by telling me that I said something wrong, that all of a sudden I'm going to say it correctly. <laughs> and 
think they're bendy. I have these figures. I have them in the box. And I have their three little accessories. So these guys, I probably will put in the shop. I'm not sure. I have to double check the pricing. I think they go for maybe like 10 to 15 for the set. It's been a while since I've looked them up. Next we have, this is really cool. This is a McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs Friday the 13th Jason. Super cool. You know, the package is a little bit worn, but I know, I, I think it's a bit pricey. I forget the actual price, but uh, I'll have to, I'm going to have to double check all the pricing before I put them in my shop. I'm definitely selling that one. Okay, we got this really cool Predator. He is awesome. I kind of want to keep him, but I think I'm going to put him in the shop. I think probably around $15. And then we have another Predator. That's super mega awesome. Again, I think he'll be around $15. Oh, this is really cool. We have a Crypt Keeper doll. His shirt's got some oxidation on it, so he needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But he is really cool. I think I'm going to put him in the shop for probably around 20 bucks. I just I have to double check the pricing on everything. Usually what I do is I check eBay prices and kind of match eBay prices before shipping. So basically I'm making a little bit more money because I'm not paying eBay fees and people buying the stuff for me are saving on the shipping. So it's kind of like a win-win situation. You know, I don't want giveaway stuff, but I want to have a deal. All right, we have this cool little Godzilla keychain. That I'm keeping. I love collecting Godzilla stuff. And we have a growing Godzilla. This is the kind of thing you would throw in water and he would grow. I'm keeping that as well. I'm really bad. I always keep Godzilla stuff. <laughs> Next, we have a cool Alien Resurrection face hugger figure. Uh, I think these are worth or will sell for around 20 bucks. And then we have another Alien, not face hugger, a offspring, so like a baby alien. That is cool. Again, I have to double check the pricing, but I think it's they're worth about 20 bucks. Okay, we have this Monsters McFarland figure. I the, it looks like it was opened at one point and then like taped together. So that I'll probably be selling cheap, maybe like 10 bucks. That's where someone wants to display it. I have a gun. I that might be for the Martian. We have a Aqua Alien from Alien Resurrection. I believe these go for about 20 bucks a piece and I have a couple of them. I'm not sure what that disc goes to. That goes to someone. We have the newborn alien from Alien Resurrection with a face hugger, which is cool. A warrior alien from Alien Resurrection. That's cool as well. I kind of want to keep all the stuff because it's really cool, but I have to limit myself a little bit because I need to make a little bit of profit on these. A battle scarred alien from Alien Resurrection. Uh, oh, this is cool. We have a Generation 1 Stark Scream. I I don't think he had the missiles. He's not too bad. I mean, the stickers are a little bit beat up, but all the mechanics work on him. He was cool. I think I gave him uh, 15 to 20 for him. I forget off the top of my head, but it's definitely a... I'm, I'm keeping that. I'm a Generation 1 Transformer fan. We got another missile. I think that goes to like a Mecha Godzilla or something. And uh, another one of these. I'm not sure what that goes to. Okay, and then he had a whole ton of cars, like Matchbox and Hot Wheels from when he was a kid. I don't think any of this is valuable. So I think most of these I'm just gonna put in the shop for a buck a piece. We have a fire engine, a front end loader, a little pickup truck. Yeah, Matchbox. A dune buggy racer kind of car. Another racer. I think this is the one. Yeah, opens up like that. I remember those. These are all from the late 70s into the 80s. Yeah, that car. So I know there's people that like 80s and 70s toys that will eat these up out of buck a piece. They're just, they're not in high condition, so they're not really in collectible condition, but they're definitely in the condition that someone might buy them to play with or just. If they like older toys, they'll want them. And I think I gave him a quarter a piece. That's cool. It's like a little swamp boat. That one I might keep. A little ambulance type car. Paramedic van. 
that race car, pickup truck. Uh, I think it used to be a cop car, but it looks like the paint's worn off. A little Greyhound van, that's actually kind of cool. That, that one I kind of want to keep. Motorcycle. That kind of retro future. <laughs> a, a little Tootsie Toys car. This looks like it's broken. It was probably a front end loader. A tractor. If any of you guys are car experts, and if you know if any of these are more comfortable or expensive, just let me know. Off the top of my head, I just don't, I don't think there is. A little Trans Am. A Roadster. Some kind of race car. Another car. More race cars, more sports cars. Definitely very 70s and 80s looking. I mean, they're cool. I like them. I think someone around my age will be really excited to see these just because they probably grew up with them. A little pickup truck. Okay, and then I had another bag of cars. Another Greyhound bus. Not as cool as the other one, though. I like the one that actually looks more like the bus. A race car. Like uh, some kind of weird military truck. That one's kind of cool. I actually might keep that one as well. A turbo car. I like Matchbox cars from the 70s when they're kind of like military or sci-fi. A dump truck. Another sports car. That's like a more generic brand. Another sports car. Another Roadster. Or a Rat Rod. Whatever you call them. There we go. I don't know much about these cars. That's why I'm not giving you a lot of information. I just don't know. That's kind of a cool race car type thing. Another sports car. So again, I'm probably going to put all these just in my shop for a buck a piece. I, there's no red lines or anything that's older that's a little bit more collectible. They're cool, and I'm sure someone's going to be really happy to get them. They're just they're a little bit too beat up for my own taste. Another sports car. You know, and if you're in your 40s, you probably grew up with this stuff, so you might want it. A race car. Another race car. Another paramedic van. All right, let me clear out these cars. All right, this bag is probably the coolest part of this collection for me. I probably underpaid a little bit on this. I don't remember exactly what I paid. I paid probably $15 to $20 for the bag. But it's all weapons and accessories from action figures from the 70s and 80s. You have this G.I. Joe gun. I believe that's the saboteur. I forget his name. We have uh, Bazooka's Bazooka. We have... I believe that's a Star Wars gun. Another Star Wars gun. A lot of vintage original Star Wars gun. These are definitely very collectible. And they almost double the value of your figures when you have them. So that's really cool. I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, so I usually have to double check to see who gets what. That's uh, American Force, I think. It's one of those ideal figures. I'm not sure who that goes to. It's also another one of like the generic figures. Uh, that goes to nothing. <laughs> I'm not sure who that goes to. That's cool, though. Some of you guys probably know, this just looks like a toothpick. A lot of you guys probably know what all these things go to. I just don't. Off the top of my head. Like the stuff I had as a kid. Oh, this is a GoBot part. The stuff I had as a kid, I know. Just all this stuff I don't. Like, I'm not sure who that goes to. That looks like a Jason the Wheeled Warriors weapon. That's like a generic bazooka. Oh, yeah. More Star Wars weapons. Those are the best. That's, again, that's that uh, American Force. Or I forget the name of the series. That looks like a Transformers weapon. I don't know which figure, but that's awesome. Any Transformer weapons are always highly collectible. I think that's also Transformers. Anytime you can get a collection with Transformers stuff in it or Star Wars weapons in it, that's good. I'm not sure who that goes to. Like, these weapons not really that collectible, but the Star Wars and the Transformers stuff, definitely. I think that's G.I. Joe, this missile. That's, uh, oh, that's also, um, the Saboteur. I forget his name. Why am I drawing a blank? So that goes with that gun. That's cool. 
another one of those cheapo. This is, looks like another Star Wars weapon. Or maybe that's G.I. Joe. I have to double check. Uh, for some reason, I'm thinking it's Star Wars, but it might be G.I. Joe. Again, uh, maybe Transform, maybe GoBots. I have to double check. Okay, another one of these cheaper figures. Cheaper figures. That's uh, Bazooka's backpack, so that's cool. Star Wars weapon. I believe another Transformers weapon. Another G.I. Joe missile. That kind of like generic gun. Here we go. Star Wars. All these Star Wars weapons are cool. Uh, just a random part. I'm not sure who that goes to. I'm not sure who that goes to. I believe that goes to those guys. Another Star Wars weapon. These are... These all go together. I think these might be GoBot weapons. Uh, I'm not sure who that goes to. I'm sure some of you guys will know exactly who all these weapons go to. Generic. Some daggers to something. Again, all these are late... 70s early 80s weapons so these are super collectible because this is the stuff that everyone loses so again this is one of the coolest bags in the whole batch so another little dagger and to me i'm mostly excited for the st transformers and the star wars stuff oh that's that's probably the best Star Wars. i think that's princess leia's gun the best bin leia i believe that star wars weapon generic walkie talkie uh, some cheaper figure. Cheaper figure. Uh, I'm thinking either like Jason the Wheel Warriors or Transformers or GoBots. Cheaper figure and a little six shooter. So that's cool. I'm definitely, all these weapons I'm holding on to just because it probably goes to stuff that I want to complete myself. So until I can figure out what it is and what it goes to, I'll decide if I want to sell it or not. I love toys from the late 70s into the early 80s or the mid 80s for me like 82 to 87 are the prime years for when i was a kid collecting toys but anything before that i kind of like as well okay so that's everything in that box that was a pretty cool box i really enjoyed that one let's dig into this box okay this is what this box looks like inside i got this really cool warrior drone from alien resurrection it looks kind of like a regular alien the box is kind of beat up, but I still think, I think I could probably get like 20, 25 out of him. He's really cool. I like when they have more traditional style aliens. Okay, this set was really cool. It's an alien transforming action set. It has, a, the pieces were removed here, but they're in the set. It's complete. I was shocked by how much this set is actually selling for. I think it's like a hundred dollar set brand new. Since it's opened, I kind of paid them based on a complete but loose set. Uh, if I was going to sell it, I think I could probably get 50 to 75 for it, but I'm keeping that set. I love that era of Micro Machines. He had a bunch of Atari games. These I usually pay like maybe a buck a piece. Sometimes hey, we got Asteroids, sometimes a little bit more if it's a rarer one. Space Cavern, the label's missing. I probably paid like 50 cents for that. Space Jockey. Tootin' Common, his label's coming off, so I probably paid cheaper on that as well. Dig Dug Classic, Miniature Golf, Survival Run, label's missing. Armor Ambush. This is cool. It seems to be worth a bit. It's a Dungeons and Dragons fantasy computer game, so it's just like a little handheld game. That was cool. I think that's like a 20 something dollar game, but I'm probably going to keep that for my collection. I like that early 80s weird electronic computer games kind of thing. Power of the Force Boba Fett. Definitely not a valuable figure. I probably gave him two or three dollars for that, and I usually get maybe eight out of them. I used to only get five for them, but they've been selling for more lately. Alien Trilogy for the PlayStation 1. Uh, I think that has a little bit of value, but I don't remember. We got Aliens 3 for a Super Nintendo in the box, and I believe it's complete with manual. Box has a little bit of damage, but this is cool. I'm definitely keeping that. I love box Super Nintendo games because you don't see them that often. We have this Godzilla guy, uh, Rodan, I think. I forget, but his arms and tail have all broken off, so he's just parts. I'm, someone might be willing to give me a couple bucks for him, but it's a shame. Okay, he had a stack of Secret Wars accessories actually i don't know what that goes to 
that's cool. Wolverine's claws, a bunch of the shields. I, I gave him a few bucks for these. I forget exactly how much, but not too much. And those I'll keep because I can use them to complete figures later on. And I think I have a Wolverine without claws. Oh, and here's his other claw. So that's cool. Complete. Or I can complete the one I have. Okay, he had original Game Boy Advance SP. And not too bad shape. It powers up. It has the power charger. That's really cool. A bunch of Game Boy Advance games. Pac-Man collection. Pitfall. Underground Need for Speed. Tron 2.0 Killer App. I paid them half the price charting prices. I don't remember what was what, but that's what I aimed for. Some of the games may be a little bit less if I didn't think I'd be able to sell them. Or Actually, most of these I'll probably keep because I like Game Boy games. Yoshi Island. Amazing Spider-Man for the Game Boy. Turtles Fall the Foot Clan for the Game Boy. Sonic Advance. V-Rally 3. Metroid Fusion, Jet Grind Radio for the Game Boy Advance, F1 Race for the regular Game Boy. Kind of want to play some of these. Ghostbusters 2 for the regular Game Boy, and Space Invaders for the Game Boy. So that's cool. I think there's a couple of $20 games mixed in there. Okay, we have the Independence Day Supreme Leader. That figure's really cool. I'm not sure if he had a missile or something that goes right there. Uh, I don't think he was ever taken out, but the box is kind of beat. This is cool, though. I really like this toy line, so I think I'm going to keep this one. I think it's really cool. We got a Mars Attacks gun. This is uh, Drake versus the Alien Arachnid. I think the Arachnid is in another box. I didn't give him too much for that since it's opened. This is cool. We couldn't quite figure out the value. We saw brand new ones selling a couple times over a hundred since he opened it. So it's not brand new mint. I figured it's probably worth like 40 to 50, but I'll probably keep it. Just, I love Godzilla stuff and that's cool. It's a blow up Godzilla. Pretty awesome. Okay. This is cool. <laughs> that set is super cool. It's aliens versus a 12 inch Corporal Hicks. Really cool figure. I almost want to keep that one, but I might, I just might hold out. I need to sell some of the stuff to make my money back and hopefully make a little profit. Okay. And then we have a book about being a ninja. That's cool. <laughs> Someone might want that. So that was that box. Let's dig into this box. This is what this box looks like. Look at all these cool toys. So this big box had a bunch of stuff in it when he brought it in, but then I only put a few figures back into the box. But it's really cool stuff, so let's dig in. All right, we have this cool Godzilla. He looks like a bendy Godzilla. He's rubber. That's really cool. Okay, we have a mid-90s Kenner alien worm guy. Ah, uh, he's cool looking. I like this toy line, even though it's kind of weird because it's not based on the movies, it's just based on the idea that they could take any DNA to make aliens. It's still a cool line. We got Alien. He's cool. We got like a dog alien with a metal head. He is cool too. Now what the figures in this box, I'm probably keeping the Godzilla stuff, but I'm selling the aliens. We have a Mecha Godzilla. I think this is also mid nineties. Uh, I'm not as hundred percent sure who made him, but he's really cool. Got Mothra. Trend Masters. Okay, that's cool. Another one of the not Godzilla, but one of the monsters from Godzilla. I'm trying to I'm drawing a blank on his name, but he's cool. We'll be keeping that one. Another Godzilla. This is like a regular one. He's got a button. I don't know what he must have batteries that I need to replace. So he's cool. That one's actually really cool. Okay, then we have this big bat alien dude. He is cool. These loose alien figures, I usually sell them for like eight or nine bucks. So that's how much I'll be selling them for. We have a face hugger guy. He has, it looks like he. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> that's cool. We have like a bug alien. He flaps. I don't think his jaw opens. Uh, it's like he, he comes off of there, so he like attaches. 
Uh, so creepy, but awesome at the same time. I kind of want to keep them, but I definitely, I need to sell a few things in my shop. Okay, we have another Mecha Godzilla type character. I don't think it's Mecha Godzilla though. He's cool though. We have a blue Kenner alien. That guy's really cool. Another kaiju creature. This one's like a blue crystal guy. That one is awesome. Then we have a three-headed dragon. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. It's been a while since I watched the old school Godzillas. And by while, I mean like 10 years, <laughs> 15 years. I need to start watching them and catch up because these are cool. So, But this guy's really cool. Definitely, he's going into the collection. Then we have a bull alien. He is cool. Look, Oh, that's cool. So you go like that and he flares up. That is a really cool alien. All right, we have another Godzilla figure. Again, he has a button, but I think his battery is dead. He's really cool looking, though. Okay, we have another alien. He's got like a blue tone to him. He's cool. I know my alien fans that come to my shop, they're going to be very happy this weekend. And then we got this alien dude. He looks like he needs a couple missiles, so I have to look to see if the missiles are in another box. He's cool looking, though. All right, we got this guy. He is so cool looking. Such a cool collection. I'm, I love buying collections like this. It's funny, too. I was looking on Facebook, and I saw someone who had recently bought a collection just like this. And I was thinking in my head, oh, man, I would love to buy a collection like that. And then, boom, I got one. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we have another alien. This one looks weird. That's the thing. A lot from the series just look weird. So some people aren't the biggest fan of them. But it's it's kind of like Prometheus, you know, where they have different types of aliens. So I, I don't mind it. I think they're actually kind of cool. If I had more space, I might consider keeping them. And we have... A spider alien. Like all these arachnid type aliens are really cool. I just love that they made a kid's toy line that's based on this. <laughs> it's like, it almost doesn't make sense. Got kind of like a brownish color alien. So he's really cool. It's a big old pile of aliens. And another like bull alien kind of guy. I don't know, this line is so cool. I might, down the road eventually, I might try to collect a complete uncard, mint uncard set of them, because they're really cool. Just need more space. Okay, we have another Mothra. Whereas the Godzilla stuff, I, I just can't resist them. <laughs> I have to have them. Okay, and then we have a blue alien. Okay, he's got like an arm action. All right, he's cool. Okay, and then we have this crazy looking, like, translucent green alien with a little bit of a shininess to him. And it goes like that, so you can capture people. That one is really cool, too. Okay, then we have another one of these bull aliens. He looks cool. I think he has a... Yeah, oh, that's cool. So he has, like, a, a attack function. That is cool. Oh, okay, and then we have this big green, like, bug alien. I don't, does he have an action button? Oh, I think he squirts water. He seems like a water squirter. I'm not sure. It seems like something you would squeeze water with. He's cool, though. He's all really cool. I keep saying that. <laughs> so the last guy is this Independence Day alien. I gotta move some guys over so we can look at them better. Okay, there we go. Independence Day Alien. These are cool. He's just a cool looking sci-fi toy. When this movie came out, I really loved it, but it hasn't aged well. I don't really like it as much anymore. But the toy line, I think, is one of the coolest. You got the little alien dude that goes in the head. So this one's definitely going into the collection. Okay, that's all the cool stuff in that box. Let's get on to the next. All right, let's dig into this box. This is what this box looks like inside. We have the big queen hive play set. This thing is super cool. I already have one of these I bought a few years ago, mint in the box. Or maybe maybe the set I have is different. 
I'm thinking maybe the set I have is different, but this set is really cool. It's he had it out on display. So I think you can basically put slime in here. You have like a little slime pit. I'm not sure how the slime pumps. There's like a pumping mechanism or something. Or maybe you just open it up and it slimes. I don't know. <laughs> that is cool though. Oh, what is this? Oh, and it has like a little nymph alien or something like that. I don't know. The queen, he didn't have the queen with this, but I have the queen in another box. Yeah, here it is. He had the queen. So she goes with that playset. So that's really cool. Cool playset. Oh, this is cool. I love when you get the catalogs from old toys. So you can look through there and see all the cool old toys that they made that year. I mean, the whole line of aliens and predators is so cool. Starting lineups are kind of boring. Technozoids, those are cool. Jurassic Park, this is probably one of the more valuable lines from the era. So that's cool. Okay, this is super cool. It's the Mars Attacks leader. He's super cool. His cape looks like it's come off, but I feel like I might be able to glue that back on and fix him up a bit. But he is super cool, and I might keep him. Not 100% sure, because he looks like he has been out of the box, but he is cool. Oops, and this little thing is coming off his cape. That's a really cool figure. <clears throat> I love the Mars Attacks toys. That's a line I would like to complete. We have, uh, what is it, the Violator, the guy from Spawn. We have a giant Jack Skellington figure doll. I don't think I paid him a lot for that guy because he's kind of dirty. He's going to need some work to clean up. A little 80s doom buggy kind of car thing. This is cool. This is kind of a generic 80s combiner bot kind of guy. Sort of like one of those Japanese robots, but like a cheaper one. And I think all the little things come into, you know, they, it comes apart and forms little vehicles. So that's cool. I love that era of toys. That's what I'm definitely keeping. One little random bag of stuff. I don't think I gave him a lot for this. A Mortal Kombat Frisbee, the Shadow Pin, Brain Scan. That's actually kind of cool. One pack of Aliens 3 cards, Star Wars Trilogy button. That's from when they re-released the movie. Naked Lunch button. That's actually kind of cool too. Another Star Wars Trilogy button. A couple of Brain Freeze Ice Cube straw things. A blue one and a green one. Lots of 90s stuff here. This is the kind of collection that makes a 90s kid happy. Okay, random parts for a Transformer. It's uh, maybe Ultra Magnus. I'm not 100% sure who these go to. But that's cool. Head. Cool. These are cool. I, I think he said he didn't have the Transformer anymore. He just had the parts. But I like getting parts because those are the hard things to get. Another bag of random toys. A bouncer Godzilla. You know, kind of. I don't know if it's going to work anymore. Nope. <laughs> the suction cup doesn't want to work. This cool little jet. I'm not sure who made it, but that's cool. I'm keeping that. I like the sci fi toys. I think that's a Jeff Goldblum Jurassic Park guy. That is actually kind of cool. Metal Alien uh, Action Masters. I've had those a few times. They don't really sell that well. Oh, this is a cool key car. I think you squeeze it and like it shoot. Ooh, yep. <laughs> I gotta look these up. I don't know what they're worth, but I know I gave them a little bit more for those because those are cool. Because there was that one and then there was this one as well, a truck. I'll probably sell them in like the three to five dollar range. A tick PVC figure. That's cool. Darkwing Duck original. I have that already. I usually sell them for about three bucks and they sell pretty well. The pilot guy. My brain is drawing a blank. I forget his name. I think Webby. Is that who that is? From DuckTales. And the bad guy. I forget his name as well. 
Got another battery operated car from the 80s. And another battery operated car from the 80s. I don't know what these are worth. I'm probably going to put them out for like three or four bucks. But I'm going to research it just to double check. I like selling things for as fair a price as possible without losing too much money. Alright, this is a really cool bag. It's all GoBots and a Jason the Wheel Warrior vehicle. So this is super cool. It's missing the front cab, but has a lot of the little weapons on it and stuff. I really, really, really like this. This is a toy line that I had as a kid. And I really want to put a set of them together. And I don't really... I think I have some of the parts. But I don't have any complete vehicles. So I was actually happy to get that. We have a transforming truck. It's kind of like a generic company. Made in Macau. So it's not like a GoBot or anything. But that's cool. I like getting the generic transforming toys from the 80s. As well as transformers and whatnot. Got some GoBots. I think I paid him $4 a GoBot. These are cool Godzilla eggs. So they open up and there's a Godzilla inside. That is super cool. This really cool Action Fleet set. I love these. This is uh, the Java barge kind of thing. But I really, anytime I can collect the little Action Fleet action figures, I love these because I think they're a perfect size for a diorama. If you take like a Hot Toys action figure and you want to give them some Star Wars figures, these are perfect. So I'm actually really excited to get that. Another GoBot. A GoBot scooter. These are cool. I mean, they're kind of cheaper than Transformers, but I still really like them. This is another GoBot. A GoBot car. GoBot Jeep. GoBot race car. I don't know any of their names. I wasn't really a GoBot TV show or character collector back in the 80s, but I appreciated them today. Got uh, GoBot Space Shuttle, GoBot Doom Buggy, a GoBot Race Car, GoBot Dump Truck, and another Godzilla egg. Er, open up. There you go. And that's a Mecha Godzilla. That's cool. <laughs> these I'm keeping. All this stuff in this bag. This was the. I love it. I'm going to keep it bag. Let's turn some of these guys into robots. Robot form. Oh, his robot form is kind of lame. <laughs> GoBots kind of have the cheaper, weaker robot forms. Oh, oops. That's a shame. His plastic was brittle. I snapped his knee while I was transforming him. But that's robot form. That's a little bit of a shame. <laughs> Don't want to break my toys. Uh, I'm not sure what his robot form is. <laughs> a little too complicated. Uh, I'm not going to transform them all, but... Alright, so that's a lot of really cool stuff. Let's dig into this bin. Alright, this is what this bin looks like inside. Okay, now we're going to go through a bin of stuff that was from my neighbor's wife. She had her own little batch of stuff that she wanted to sell. So we have a Nintendo DS in red. I think it's missing the one hatch door that covers the Game Boy Advance slot. And it didn't have a charger, but still... Uh, I think the last one I sold for like $25.30 and I have read it already, so I can sell that one. Then I had some games. We had Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. So that's cool. I didn't have that one, so I'm keeping that one. Super Mario Bros. for the DS. That one I have already. Some PlayStation 3 games. We have Fear 2 and Silent Hill Homecoming. And then she had a whole ton of loose McFarlane toys, which I don't know if anything's missing or whatnot. Uh, honestly, usually for loose McFarlane toys, I don't pay too much for them just because they're kind of a hard to display. But they do sell. I think I paid 2 or $3 a piece and I'll sell them for probably like eight ninety nine dollars each. She might be missing a stand. But these are all very creepy. Creepy like demons and stuff. But I know my horror fans will be very happy to pick those up. It's a piece to one of them. Oh, wait. No, never mind. The DS had stuff. We had the charger and some styluses and stuff. All right. So the DS, I believe, is complete. I think I'll get 2530 out of that. And then we had this figure. She's like in a torture chamber, which is falling apart a little bit. And it's, the reason why I usually pay a little bit less for these is they're... They're dusty, so it's going to take me a little bit of work to clean them up. And I have to add that 
labor into what I'm paying. So, you know, I might make $6 each, but it might take me 10 minutes each to kind of clean them up a bit. This is a trolley, weird torture device for someone. Not sure which figure. Oh, wait, no, this figure. Yeah, this guy and, like, the wheel, I think that goes on there. Very creepy. That's, like, a deluxe one. I might put, like, $12.99 on that. Oh, and I think that's the wheel. Uh, it might be broken. So if it's broken, it'll, it'll be less. And then we got this guy with a weird, like, torture device thing. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of these. They're not my thing, but some kind of scary guy another platform for someone maybe this goes to the i think that goes to the torture device this super creepy guy <laughs> this looks like norman bates might be norman bates creepy oh this medusa is actually kind of cool i like that one a little skeleton monster He's from something. I'm just not sure what it is. And he, I don't know if his hand is missing. Or that's how he's supposed to be. And then we have that creepy lady. And some creepy tail bits that must go to someone. I'll figure that out. Maybe that's Medusa and... I'm not sure of that guy. Alright, so that's everything that was in her collection. Most of this I think will be in the shop. I'll probably be keeping the games. But the rest I'm going to put out. Probably $8.99 for most of them. Maybe... $12.99 for a couple of the deluxe ones. And I know my horror fans are going to be happy with those. That was a ton of fun going through all these awesome toys. I'm definitely adding a lot of these to my collection, but I'm also putting a lot into my shop. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm able to do videos like this more often. And if you want to help support my channel as well, I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching my videos and you enjoyed it, you like this big mega at all, click the robot's face to subscribe. Why not? I like making videos for you. And I'm going to put a couple other big mega haul videos right there. Thanks for watching. Bye.